So many patients with lung cancer are diagnosed with brain metastasis or cancer that's gone to the brain initially in their disease course. We've now learned that we can give very targeted radiation to one or two sites um, up front and that limited radiation like that rather than whole brain radiation which can happen over two weeks and is associated with fatigue and cognitive decline but that we can, we can hold off on whole brain radiation without compromising survival. So in 2015, when someone can be diagnosed with an EGFR mutant lung cancer, the landscape's very different than it was a decade ago. Back then, that patient might have presented with disease in the brain and gotten whole brain radiation followed by chemotherapy that comes with some toxicities and have expected a survival of less than a year. At this year's meeting, we can say that same patient might be treated with just small amounts of radiation to their brain, get highly active oral drugs like, that are commercially available now, like Tarceva or Gilatref, and when that cancer progresses, they may be able to go to another oral agent that overcomes that resistance. And those are the studies that we saw yesterday that are so provocative. That patient would be monitored over time to see if they develop new brain metastasis. And if they don't, they could spare whole brain radiation for, for years, enabling them to have great productive lives, working, taking care of their families, and doing the things that are important to them.